Welcome back. All right, today's career video, I want to talk about Jamie Langenbrunner, one of the greatest names in the history of the game, one of my favorite players in the history of the game, absolutely going to the THG Hall of Fame as well, and, and one who was actually traded for Jason Arnett at one point. At least they were involved in the same trade. So Langenbrunner, one of my favorite players. It didn't change when he got older. Uh, I know I've, I've you know, looked at, at jerseys on Cool Hockey when they have sales. I've thought about getting a New Jersey Devils one. I haven't, but... When I think about what name would I put on the back of a Devil's jersey if I was going to get one, Langenbrunner is the answer because you want to get the the best point per or best money per letter on the jersey. So Langenbrunner gets you there, and he was he was just he was such a good good player. He's a very good player, and I never knew anybody that really disliked Jamie Langenbrunner. So number thirty five pick in nineteen ninety three, so second round pick, not a high second round pick either at the time. And so, 94-95, he makes his debut in Dallas, just plays the two games. No points, but again, with that name, this Dallas fan was like, I really want Langenbrunner to make it because Langenbrunner. 95-96, uh, plays 12 games for Dallas. So still not broken through at the NHL level yet. Two goals, two assists for four points. So he is still eligible to be a rookie in 96-97. And what a year he has. 76 games, 13 goals, 26 assists, 39 points. Good third line player, but he would eventually end up with some top six minutes, right? So five games in the playoffs, one goal, one assist. He was ninth in Calder voting. Not bad considering he had the 13 goals, right? So getting top 10 in Calder voting, pretty decent. Uh, 97, 98, 81 games played, 23 goals. So his first 20 goal season, 29 assists for 52 points. In 16 playoff games, one goal, four assists, five points. This was the time where Dallas couldn't beat Detroit. So they needed somebody else to beat Detroit. Cue up Colorado, 98-99, this is what happened. Uh, 75 games played by Langenbrunner, 12 goals, 33 assists, 45 points. And it is that run in 99 which really cements my fandom of Jamie Langenbrunner, not for just his name only. 23 games in the playoffs, 10 goals, 7 assists, 17 points, and a Stanley Cup win with Dallas where they went through Colorado rather than Detroit because Detroit got knocked out by Colorado. Again, thanks to the abs. Uh, because, uh, you know, Dallas was a bad, was not a good matchup against Detroit. Like, Detroit just took Dallas down. So, um, benefits them. They win the Stanley Cup. And Langenbrunner with the 10 goals, after only scoring 12 the entire regular season, shows he's a playoff performer. When it's a big game, he's a guy who comes through. 99-2000, uh, 65 games played, 18 goals, 21 assists, 39 points. So he did miss a number of games. And, and it, you know, he, he would get injured here and there and, and miss a, a good chunk of time. In the playoffs, 15 games, 1 goal, 7 assists, 8 points. And, of course, in 2000, Dallas goes back to the Stanley Cup Finals and loses against New Jersey. 2000-2001, 53 games played. Again, missing some time here. 12 goals, 18 assists, 30 points in the playoffs. 10 games played, 2 goals, 2 assists, 4 points. Then in 2001-2002, he's having a slow season offensively. Absolutely no argument. 68 games, 10 goals, 16 assists, 26 points. So Dallas decides they're going to move him. So they trade him on March 19th to New Jersey with Joe Neuendijk uh, in exchange for a 2002 first-round pick, Jason Arnett and Randy McKay. This is one of those rare trades that I think worked for both teams. I think both teams were pretty happy with how it worked out, although New Jersey may have been a little bit happier because 2003 takes place. But in 01 02, they play, he plays 14 games with New Jersey after the trade. Three goals, three assists, six points. In the playoffs, five games played and just the one assist. 2002 2003, 78 games played with the Devils. 22 goals, so he's back to 20 goal form, 33 assists, 55 points. And, I mean, I, I knew he could bounce back. I was very happy that he did. And then in the playoffs, he really shows what he could do. Quite, again, 24 games, so one more game than the 99 Cup run. 11 goals, so one more goal than he had that year. 7 assists, 18 points. So his totals are almost exactly the same, and the result's the same with the Stanley Cup going to the New Jersey Devils over Anaheim in the finals. So he led the playoffs in goals and points. He was tied with Scott Niedermeyer for the lead in points with 18 in that playoff. And it, it was just amazing to watch him do this. And again, as a fan of the Stars, it was kind of one of those bittersweet things. But I was very happy to see him win a Stanley Cup again. So that's his second championship. 3 4 only gets into 53 games again. Injuries are, are an issue with him at points. 
10 goals, 16 assists, 26 points. In five playoff games, he records two assists. 2005-2006, so after the lockout takes out the 0405 season, he plays the full season in 0506, almost anyways, with 80 games out of 82 being played. 19 goals, so right on the verge of 20. 34 assists, 53 points. In nine playoff games, three goals, 10 assists for 13 points. So again, come playoff time, he is a performer. And uh, that's, that's one of the things that, that I always appreciated with Langenbrenner. 2006-2007, uh, he actually starts getting better, even though now he's in his 30s. 82 games, 23 goals, 37 assists for 60 points. That is a new career high. It's unusual for somebody to set a career high in their 30s, but there he was. Uh, 11 games played in the playoffs, 2 goals, 6 assists for 8 points. 2007-2008, 64 games played, so missed a good chunk of time there. 13 goals, 28 assists, 41 points in 5 playoff games, 4 assists. During that season, where he'd end up getting hurt and missing about 20 games, he was actually named team captain for the New Jersey Devils. So, Langenbrunner, team captain for the Devils. 08-09, 81 games played, 29 goals, career high there. 40 assists, 69 points, also a career high for Langenbrunner. So again, he just it feels like he just keeps getting better, but this is where that gets kind of tough, right? So in, in the playoffs, four games, two goals, one assist, three points. He was 10th in Selkie voting that year, which again shows uh, two-way forwards, defensive forwards are more respected when they get the more points. So the fact he had the most points in his career and he finished top 10 in Selkie voting, I don't think are a coincidence. Uh, 2009-2010, 81 games. He loses 10 goals off the season before with 19. 42 assists, 61 points. So he records a career high in assists. Five games in the playoffs, just the one assist. And then 2010-2011, this is where the offense just goes. And you can never really tell when it's going to go with a player. You can't. 31 games played in 2010-2011 with New Jersey. Four goals, 10 assists, 14 points. And on January 6th, he was traded back to Dallas. So Dallas takes him back for a 2011 third round pick, which became Blake Coleman. So there's an opening to do a Blake Coleman career video, right? So he plays 39 games back in Dallas, which made me very happy. Five goals, 13 assists, 18 points. So he played 70 games that year and had 32 points. Definitely the offense had slowed down. This Dallas fan wanted to see him stay in Dallas. Doesn't happen. January, July 6th, he was signed as a free agent by the St. Louis Blues. Plays 70 games in 2011-2012. Six goals, eight assists, 24 points. Plays nine playoff games that year. One goal, no assists, so just the one point. 2012-2013, it's a locked at lockout shortened season, but his season's even shorter than that. Only four games played and one assist. So he ended up having to have left hip surgery, which ended his season four games in. Uh, he ended up retiring January 15th of 2014. And yet there were there were injury issues that took place with him that ended up, you know, where he only played 1,109 games. So for a guy who did miss a lot of time, that 1,100 games is impressive. 243 goals, 420 assists, 663 points in his career. Uh, in the playoffs, 146 games, 34 goals, 53 assists, 87 points. Very effective player in the playoffs. And he was team captain for the U.S. men's Olympic team at the 2010 Olympics in Vancouver, a team which won silver. So good career for Jamie Langenbrenner. No problem putting him in the THG Hall of Fame, knowing that full well, he doesn't end up in the NHL Hall of Fame. He's one of those very good players. He didn't play in an all-star game either, but he was one of my favorites. He just, he worked no matter where he was in the lineup. He was a hard worker and he spent a long time in Dallas, then a long time in New Jersey. And there was a reason that uh, that he didn't move around the league a lot, considering how long he was in it. Um, very popular guy. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.